I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been. You know? You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like the old Kamala Nominon had a very difficult weekend in the polls, very difficult weekend in the odds makers, and very difficult weekend with the American voters as people are growing tired of this woman saying nothing, doing nothing, hiding from the media, and getting absolutely eviscerated by Donald Trump. He's clearly gone full-on attack mode, maybe since bringing back Corey Lewandowski to his campaign. I'm not exactly sure what flipped the switch, but Kamala Harris not looking good as you know, people in general are not responding well to uh, the CNN softball interview. They're not responding well to Tim Walz's brother coming out and saying he's a piece of garbage, not responding well in the swing states to the Dana Bash interview. And well, instead of coming out and clarifying her issues, she's just decided to attack YouTubers, I suppose. We'll see how that goes. You and else is going down, by the way. One day, 25% off code promo code labor. My coffee site, Coffee Brand Coffee. If you haven't tried us yet, we've got the best coffee available on the internet, roasted fresh on demand. You won't find a fresher brew out there. We've got everything available in whole bean ground. We've got K-Cups available. We've got decaf, dark roast, light roast. We've got bourbon flavor. We've got our summer flavors, which are selling out this week. This is the last chance to get them. We have our blueberry cobbler and strawberries and cream, our silky ultra dark roast, cold brew bags, and so much more. Support the channel. Get some coffee. Promo code LABOR, 25% off today only. Kamala Harris's election odds slide with bookmakers after a disastrous CNN interview. Kamala Harris's odds of winning the 2024 president, presidential election deteriorated noticeably after a CNN interview, which took place alongside running mate Tim Walls on Thursday evening, according to two leading bookmakers. The vice president from <clears throat> went from being the favorite to win with odds at 52.4% on Thursday, tied with Donald Trump, uh, to tied with Donald Trump on Friday morning, uh, according to Star Sports Betting Company. If we look at, for example, Poly Market, again, I will say the polls, these betting odds, Vegas, okay, it's all directional only. All right. It doesn't mean diddly squat. Vegas and these betting websites, they all exist because they make money. You know how they make money is when we're wrong or when the, when the betters are wrong. I don't really gamble, but I mean, I'll say this. If we look at the graph, Donald Trump now has a four point lead over Kamala Harris, which is the biggest it's been over Kamala Harris. As far as I know, um, uh, yeah, that's definitely true. If you look at, you know, when Joe Biden, you know, when he crushed Joe Biden after the debate, he was at 72%. Okay, that was an all-time high for Trump. So that's why I'm not like really, you know, really excited about 51%. You know what I mean? But after Kamala took over, Donald Trump dropped to a 44% odd, you know, was losing by 10 points. He then, after the CNN interview, hit 52 cent, 52% chance back on August 21st. Um, but I'm um, yeah, August 21st. And now over the weekend has climbed back up to a 51% chance. Not really anything to write home about, but again, directionally, that's what I'm looking at is simply the direction of, you know, how it's going. And if he continues to open up a lead, I don't suspect this will change much more outside of, um, until the debate, which is still another, what, nine days away. So I think it's next week, Wednesday, you know, outside of, you know, him coming out and saying he's in favor of legalizing it or him coming out and saying, you know, this, that, and the other stuff, I don't think it's going to swing the market bigly in one way or another, unless there's a major controversy, which, you know, I think you don't have to really worry about with Trump. With Kamala, there may be something brewing. You can see, you know, the second she was anointed, she became, you know, a huge odds on favor at 54, 44 um, but now, you know, she's continued to sink down to a 47% chance. So again, directional, because if we look at the actual polling data, Kamala Harris continues to pull extremely well. Um, ABC Ipsos has her up four. 
Wall Street Journal has her up one. If we look at the aggregates, 1.8. This day in history, Clinton was up four. So she's trailing two points behind where Clinton was when she lost and five points behind Biden, who is at seven, up 7.2 7 at this point. But you still see the majority of the polls are plus Harris, and uh, the only ones really having Trump are Rasmussen and Fox News. So, you know, again, these things are all directional. Uh, but I would say that the Kamala nominon, the, the cacklementum is definitely over, and that's why she's panicking. That's why Kamala HQ is going after all these individual YouTubers. Off script, Kamala blows it in swing states. After five weeks of slobbering media coverage akin to the rhetorical version of a hot stone massage, Kamala Harris finally left the bubble that has carried her to record fundraising and competitive poll numbers with Donald Trump in King's key swing states. And then the bubble bursts. By the way, there's still over two months to the election. All right. This woman's going to have to talk. This woman's going to have to share her policies. I don't care. Like at this point, I think it, there's too long. Like, there's too much time between now and the election for her to really be able to hide. She's got, she's, I suspect that she may try to back out. Uh, she may try to back out of the debate. I think that would be bad for her. However, my, you know, and I've argued with sticks about this, which we're live every day at one Eastern, by the way, over on the mean green rumbler site. Um, yes, I agree. It would be quite bad if she backed out of the debate, but I don't think it would, could be, I don't think it's as bad as if she were to get crushed. If she were to have a meltdown on the debate stage, that would be way worse. So I think, I still think there's a good chance she backs out. Harris was not allowed to speak to the press, nor was her running mate, Tim Walls. Everything was packaged, scripted, and homogenized. When the candidates did speak, they were guided by their new god, a teleprompter. Manali had to take questions from CNN's Dana Bash. And even with their hands practically being held, after the anchor asked questions that included multiple choice answers and little follow-up, the potential president and Veep fumbled and lied during a relatively short 18-minute pre-taped interview. Kamala Harris hurt herself in the places that matter most, the key swing state. Arizona. Top issue, immigration, not good. Michigan, top issue, the auto, auto industry, not good. She talks about the Green New Deal. And of course, her endless flip-flopping. Critics say CNN's bash used kids' gloves with Harrison Walls while Vance ended up getting grilled. I don't know why anybody would be surprised about this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think anybody is surprised by this. Then also we have terrible uh you know just getting absolutely crushed over the weekend it was reported that american citizen lost their life um to uh you know in the unrest and the war between israel and palestine i don't have an opinion i've said before my opinion is that america stays out of it but now we have americans losing their lives you see donald trump absolutely pouncing sticking it to her on this we grieve the senseless death of Israeli hostages, horrifically, uh, including a wonderful American citizen, Hirsch Goldberg Poland, uh, lost her life due to um, complete lack of American strength and leadership. Make no mistake, this happened because comrade Kamala Harris and crooked Joe Biden are poor leaders. Americans are getting slaughtered overseas while Kamala is disparaging and making up lies about Gold Star families. And Biden is sleeping on the beach on a 16th consecutive day of vacation. They have blood on their hands. Sadly, this total lack of leadership that Kamala and Biden represent, one that allows Terry's to take American lives because they only care about weaponizing the Department of Justice against their political opponents, just like the debacle in Afghanistan withdrawal that claimed 13 American lives. Kamala and Biden judgment has not only put lives at risk, but is directly responsible for the unnecessary passings that should have never happened. Our country and our amazing people are not safe under Joe Biden and will be less safe under Kamala Harris. This terror would never have happened if I were president, and I will stop at day one I'm back in the Oval Office. America will be strong again, and that will make the world safe and secure. I mean, people are like, eh, why wouldn't it have specifically happened under you? Well, I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't have bothered taking that risk. 
you know, Russia and Ukraine war, I guarantee never would have happened under, under Trump. This is a absolute, just a savage response. I mean, just absolutely pouncing on another Kamala Harris debacle. By the way, Kamala Harris is doing nothing. Um, Joe Biden, uh, here he is on vacation again. He's been on vacation. A new report came out. Joe Biden has been has spent a total of 532 days. 40.3% of his presidency on vacation. 40, that's, just think about that. That's 12 days a month on vacation. Here he is on the beach again, looking at uh, Dr. Jill or whatever, talking about that, I've worked tirelessly to bring Hirsch home. Did you? Oh, yes. The world saw how tirelessly you're working this week. Second time this week on the beach with Joe Biden. Are you heartbroken? Are you heartbroken whilst at the beach? Don't forget your sunscreen. Enjoy your never ending vacation. I mean, Tim Walls getting absolutely embarrassed um, at the Minnesota State Fair while he's trying to promote eating pork chops. Tim Walls was asked to his reaction to six hostages losing their lives being found in Gaza, including one American citizen. You know what he said? Nothing. He ran away. I mean, he ran away. Ran away. Meanwhile, his brother is absolutely crushing him. Bill Maher mocking the boring interview. Everybody knows, okay, everybody. Here's another Democrat city, brand new, four lost their lives in a Chicago Blue Line train. What, what a coincidence, all right? They are panicking. They are reeling. Trump needs to keep his foot on the gas. If you haven't yet, tailgatesfortrump.com. Get your real email address in here. Hit join the movement, then go check your email and confirm it. We're gonna, we're going to help Donald Trump win the election. I'm telling you, if we can get ten or twenty thousand people to sign up for this, we can mobilize. This is what the Democrats are good at. This is what we need to get better at. Sign up, confirm your email address. Let's get to twenty thousand signups today. I'd be happy with five thousand to be honest with you, because that's all it takes. We're gonna party our way to a Donald Trump win in November. But I need you to check it out. And also don't forget coffee brand coffees, one day only sale, 25% off. We'll talk to you again real soon.